it's Zena, we're Hog Princess, and today's video is what's in my bag with the Cantor 2 from Lug in Shibori Purple. And yeah, it might be a bit much, but I love purple. And um, my hat is Lug Topper, which is Shibori Purple, and the shirt is just some random shirt that I had that happens to match just pretty well. It's kind of like camouflage. Anyway, um, let's move in. Let's look. Real quick at the bag before we do that, it has the crossbody shoulder strap, it has backpack straps, which I have tucked away already, it has a trolley sleeve, it has top carriage handles that lay flat. So those are the carriage options. It has top pocket, bottom pocket with a phone, it has side pockets, it's got plasticized bottom, there's another zipper pocket across the back panel, and inside, we have big slip on the back, elastic cargo, plastic on the front, clear view, two pen slots right here, and a bungee on the side. So that is the bag, pretty good size. Now, let's talk about accessories and whatnot, what we're gonna move into the bag. I have a pile of things from my other bag, so I moved it out of all the pouches. It is still going to be a transition video. I've just taken everything out of the pouches already. But this is our options for now. <laughs> I have gone going through the closets and the bag room and whatnot, pulling out things that might work. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put all the Shibori purple things to the side for a moment because those are pretty much gonna go in I think not every single one because you know you'll see why in a sec <laughs> all right so we got wallet options bag charms cases yeah very cool options all right so with the Vera stuff to one side bag charms in the middle okay so let's just start random place in my hand I have a lounge fly pouch it's the Disney Villains. It's like a, almost like a canvas style or what would feel kind of like a lighten up fabrication. Nice lounge fly zipper pull and a stripey interior. Now this one, it doesn't totally match color wise. So that's pretty much gonna make it out. But I did just get this last week. So it just happened to be in front of my brain as I was walking around grabbing things. Um, okay. Also, I have a lug key fob or keychain. This one is actually dragonfly purple, but as you can see, it's not the same purples. I don't think I'm gonna use that either. We've got bag charm options or what I'm using for um, hand sanitizer holders. We've got a Kipling I think it's like the mini soul backpack and then a real littles backpack which actually I think matches better color wise I mean it kind of goes with the lighters but I think this one matches better so we'll put that in the maybe pile we've got some masks because even though for the most part thankfully they're not having to wear them there are still certain times and places and situations and locations that you have to. So I have a Vera Bradley, this is the inside of Lilac Tapestry. We've got Lilac Medallion, which probably is closer match. This one is a no-name pattern that my friend made. That's kind of a fun purpley. We've got Batic Leaves. Yeah, that one's good. And then we have Elderberry, just plain purple. So I don't know that I'm gonna put all of them in there, but I definitely have to have one or two in the bag because you never know. I always keep some in the truck, so that's good. Pen options. Lug, the closest one that I have is the older style, the plastic ones. And this is in Small World Multi. It is not purple per se, but there are a lot of purples in it. So when I look at that with Shibori, yeah, I think that goes. And then I grabbed a Vera pen, which is in Regal Rosette, which again, isn't a perfect match, but it is purples and multiple colors of purple. So I think those are the two pens I'm going to put in the bag. Speaking of Regal Rosette, I grabbed a few other items because 
I wanted to go matchy matchy, but I can't 100% do it. So I grabbed a few things just to get me close. Um, Regal Rosette, I grabbed the sunglasses case. Well, actually, this is the reader's case, but it's a uh, hard sided. I also grabbed my Lilac Tapestry magnetic case. Um, and so those are the two closest options. I think of the two, the Regal Rosette matches better, but I don't have any Regal Rosette sunglasses. I do have Lilac Tapestry sunglasses. So if I take them out of all of this, there's the purple sunglasses, the purple on the inside as well. And they're just, you know, sunglasses. Ta -da. So I think it, some of them fit in the um, reader's cases, some don't. Let's see if this one does. This one does. Yay, so that's an option. I also grabbed a bobsled. Now I don't have, I have not seen a Concord or Shibori Purple bobsleds yet. I do have a Bloom Black, which is my closest match. When you look at some of the purples, it does kind of go. But I also had a question from a viewer who asked if this bobsled will fit in the top pocket of the Cantor 2. The answer is yes, it fits. However, it's a tight fit. So I personally don't think I'll be carrying it that way. So if I put it in upright, I can zip it. It's just a really tight fit. Like it will zip, but it's really tight. Um, if I put it in upside down, again, same thing. But I'm wondering if I take that inner piece out, because I don't need quite as much rigidity. I just need the padding, maybe. So I could take that sort of semi-rigid piece out and that makes this more flexible, more pliable. Then I think it does fit much better. Yeah, because you can just like squish it down a little bit. You can see it's not too bulky, it fits in there nicely. Um, so that's one option. This pocket does have some padding on its own, so really I might not even need a case at all. But if I take the Regal Rosette, it fits nicely right in there and closes and is protected. So for the moment, I'm gonna go with Hmm, decisions, decisions. The other way to carry it, by the way, is inside this lower pocket, there is a soft lined cargo pocket. So I could just put them straight in there. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna just wing it and go glasses only in the top pocket. It's not soft lined, but if they're the only thing in there, they'll be fine. And that's the least bulky and still protected option. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I got that. Then I can put the bobsled aside. I'll put it back together later. No problemo. All right, I also grabbed some other pouches from the Regal Rosette. I have the Travel Takes. Um, I think it's, it's called like a mini cosmetic or something like that. But this is the actual mini cosmetic. This is the Travel Takes, whatever that piece was called. So it's just the next size smaller, if you will. And then I also have a medium cosmetic. So I have the three sizes. I really don't need these because I have some really great Shibori Purple options. So those are going to the side. I also grabbed an Elderberry, um, just this little makeup case. This was one that I got from the in-person annual outlet sale. And it, it's got the moon moon blooms and it's plastic. It's just a nice size. This is about a little bit bigger than the Stephanie Dawn Small Essentials case, but it is microfiber. All right, also grabbed a couple things. This is a Metro. This obviously does not even come close to matching, but it's the only Metro I have. And it's like rosewood or something. It's like an orangey brown. Uh, reddish orange whatever burnt orange it's a great thing it looks just a lot like the zip ids this one is unquilted and this one is lighting up <clears throat> so i got elderberry and wisteria and i grabbed all of these just to to pick options like that kind of goes but it doesn't actually match any of the purples 
And then the elderberry doesn't either. And obviously this one doesn't. I do hope that Lug comes out with the metros in more colors because I have a ton of zip IDs. I would have many more metros. The only thing I would say about it is this top opening needs to be just a little wider because if you look at them, the zip ID is like just barely perfect to get cards in and out and it's, it's functional, very functional. And the lug one is just shorter enough. Let me put them zipper end and zipper end. You can see it better. But it's just longer enough, just enough to make it more usable. That's my experience anyway. But also, yeah, I just, I really want to see these in other colors for sure. Okay. So I needed a coin purse. I grabbed this one. So does it match perfectly? No, it's definitely not a matchy matchy, but I like it. So I'm going to use it and I'm going to clip it onto my bungee as I do. So I always have my coin purse accessible and I just toss it inside. Lastly, before we get to the um, inside stuff, let's decide bag charms. This was in the maybe pile, but I do need a hand sanitizer holder. I could put it in the end pocket, which I might just do. Yeah, because that doesn't really even match. Okay. And then I've got bag charms just for decoration. And these are both Vera Bradley. They're both like a faux leather type thing. They're both florals. We've got this one from Lavender Meadow. And this one from, I think it was Vines Floral. It's two flowers. And I think they both actually kind of go with this bag. So if I hook it on the side, we've got this one. This one has a little hot pink ladybug on there and has a little more pink in there. So it kind of stands out a little bit. And then this one is probably, I don't know, more of a true match, if you will. I think I'm gonna go with the bright pink. We're just gonna go with it and I'm just gonna hook it right on that end. Do I wanna put it there? Maybe I wanna put it right in the middle on this little loop on the front of the phone pocket. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I almost kind of feel like that pink is too much. But <laughs> Okay, that's what we're doing. All right, so got the pens. I can put the pens in. My phone is on the other side of the room. Unfortunately, I didn't grab it, so that will have to wait. But that's going to go in the phone pocket. Of course, it fits fine. Now let's talk about these pouches. We have a peekaboo crossbody. Now, I didn't realize at first, and I think I even had said something in one of the halls, about why there wasn't a crossbody strap on one of the ones I'd gotten. There are two versions of the peekaboo. Now the peekaboo itself is same, same, but one version comes with just a wristlet strap and one version comes with a wristlet and a crossbody. Slightly more expensive than the other, which makes sense. You're getting more product for the, you know, more price. But I didn't realize there was two kinds, so I didn't realize I'd ordered two different kinds. Now in the end, it doesn't matter because all the colors I got, I have straps from other bags that I can use with them if I chose to, but that's good to know. And uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> but this one is the crossbody version. So it does have a crossbody and a wristlet strap. Um, obviously I don't need the crossbody. I might leave the wristlet on there, but let's pull all these tags off because now we're going to use the pouch. Gotta pull out all the lug stuff. So in here, it could be used as a wallet. I'm going to use it as an organizational pouch and or grab and go kind of thing. So you have this back pocket. You can put your phone in there and you can use your phone through the plastic if you so desire, or you can just put other things in there that you have a clear view pocket. It's kind of like a transport envelope, like a little bit. The main pouch part has a privacy zipper pocket and on the other side it has a clear view ID window there. It is RFID and so it gives you some options. You can use it like a wallet or organization. I'm going to use it for organization but I don't need all these other bits with it. 
Okay. Alternative options, I have several things. I have the Seesaw envelopes in Shibori Purple. Pretty good chance those are going to make it. The only caveat I would say with using these in um, together or using them in a bag that has a big clear view pocket is sometimes, like I like when things slide in and out, these sometimes the plastic will catch on each other and it, it grabs so like they don't slide past each other really well. As they get older, they do slide in and out a little bit better. They're not as grippy, if you will. I don't want to wear them down and I, you know, I don't want them to get all scratched up just because I'm sliding things in and out. So for us today, we're going to go by which works best for the items I need to include. I might use all three pouches, honestly. And if that's the case, these two will slide really well and this will slide decent because even though there's a clear view, they're not necessarily plastic to plastic. I hope that all makes sense, but... I think we got those three. I also grabbed my runway envelopes, which is the same as the Seesaw. It was just the predecessor. I'm not sure why they changed the name of it, but this is just a Concord purple. And I don't think we need that many envelopes. So we'll just stick with the Shibori purple and put these other ones aside. All right, wallet options. We have several to pick from. And we'll start with the ones I know I'm not gonna use because I have Shibori purple ones. So this is Concord, it's a kit flip three. You have the trifold front with all the slots, and then you've got a crossbody strap back here. With a slip pocket, you've got a secure zip ID pocket. You have a wristlet strap that is the zipper pull, it isn't removable, and then you have the accordion style back part with the clear coin thing in the middle. So great wallet, really great wallet. I'm not using that one. But it's a nice wallet. I haven't used this either. This is my Minuet in Concord. It also is a great wallet. It's smaller though, so it gives you some different options for use. It has a coin thing on the back. And then inside you have cash drawer, and then you have a bunch of card slots. You've got these ones vertical and then you have the horizontal ones on both sides as well. So a lot, a lot of slots actually. It's a small but mighty wallet. But we're gonna go with Shibori Purple. So we have the Rodeo 2 and my favorite, the Splits XL, which is an almost automatic go with this one for me because I love it so much. It's just a great grab and go. I can put my phone inside of it. And so when I go grocery shopping or whatever, I can put it on my wrist or I can take that off. I can you know, do a lot of things with it. It has a nice big coin slot that you can get into. It's got two zipper sections and it's got a lot of card slots. So the front, I just put my dollars here. You can put your phone there, but I put my dollars there. So all my paying stuff is in one place. I put my receipts behind the cards. I've got card slots and I double or triple those up. And I put a pen here. And then in the back part, your accordion section, you have so many card slots and two big slips as well. This is just, it's my perfect wallet. It's the size of a wallet and basic style I've been using for, well, let's say decades. <laughs> when I wasn't carrying a bag around, I had just a large wallet and that's it. And everything was either in the wallet or not on me. So anyways, this is, my number one choice, but I'm gonna try the Rodeo 2 because I have not used it yet. I like the Rodeo okay, but I like the Rodeo 2 better. It's the same size, but different configuration. So it has a removable wristlet strap, which I like. I'm gonna keep that on. It has the zipper pocket on the back for coins if you want or for other things. I do have a coin purse in there. So like sometimes when I'm paying, I'll just put them in here initially, but to keep the wallet light and not um, chunky, I will move the coins over and then eventually I'll get home and I'll throw them all in the jar. That's how I operate. It's my own kind of weird way, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have a lug card, live, laugh, lug. So we'll add that to the card pile. And inside you have kind of like the minuet, you have vertical slots and horizontal slots. So you have one, two, three on the, each side and then two behind each side and then one cash drawer. So I will move into this separately, but this is the wallet I'm gonna go with. 
And then I also have a Concord heart pouch. This is the other reason I put those other little backpacks aside because this will easily hold my hand sanitizer. It could hold masks, it could hold other things. It does zip all the way up and around and down. But this is the older style that isn't good for coins because it's open on the bottom. So you could just not open it all the way and use it for coins anyway. I don't need to, as we have already established, I have multiple other options. Um, you can fit cards in it. They do fit in there, which is nice. Um, but I'm gonna use it for my hand sanitizer, which I don't have on the table at the moment. But let's figure out where which side we're gonna put. So I hold the bag like this. So if I put it on the front, there. There's my heart. So I'm decorated and <laughs> accentuated. And while we have this up, the Rodeo 2, I'm gonna use it in this front pocket. Now this is RFID and this pocket is also RFID. This pocket does have some built-in slots and it has a soft line pocket and some other things, but I'm just gonna put this wallet right in that front pocket. And I still have room for other things, but for me, that's just a great spot for it. I'm also going to take my lip balm where is it? Oh yeah, too many things here. I know it's here. Well, maybe I'll come back to that thought <laughs> when I find it. Oh my goodness. Okay, there it is. It's under my dollars. So I just have an EOS lip balm, which I really like. And there's an elastic loop in here on the front wall. And so I'm just gonna slide that right into that loop. So it doesn't have to be on the outside, but it's very accessible and it's not gonna like fall out when I open the pocket or anything like that. And since it has like the long sleeve on it, I can just pull out the thing, do that, and I don't have to fight the elastic, put it back in. So I'm gonna do that for my lip balm. Yeah, it's a great plan. All right, so that's for now the front pocket. I've got my sunglasses up here, my wallet and stuff down here, my phone will go in the front pocket. So now we just have the inside. So I can use the built-in clear view or I can use the pouches. I think we all know what the answer is gonna be there. We use pouches. So big pouch, little pouch, peekaboo. And what I have here is a myriad of things. I've got some tech stuff, some miscellaneous personal care like a nail file, lotion, um, lip gloss, some medicines, we've got mints and gum, we've got dental floss toothpicks, put that in there, and all these mints and gum. We've got some glucose tabs, and the rest of that is mostly tech. We've got um, Listerine um, fresh strips, and we've got some ginger chews. Yeah, all the rest is, oh, nope. We got a little trail mix because I had that in my bag just in case I needed it last week. And I didn't. Okay, here we go. So I think that, ooh, decisions. Let's try the food stuff in here. Not food stuff, but gum and mints. I don't need all of the gum and mints, so maybe we'll pare it down a bit. Strawberry Arctic Altoids, we'll take these ones out. Put the glucose tabs in there. Mm -hmm. No, those are gonna have to go in with care. Listerine can go in there. We'll throw some ginger. So these are mango ginger and lemon ginger. So we got a mix. Looks like they're mostly lemon, but I'm just gonna throw a few in here. A nice little deviation in the middle of the day when you're kind of craving something and oops one more anyways they all fit nicely in that pouch I can see where everything is so that can go right now in the middle now tech versus personal stuff I think the tech is probably the better high-vis item so I have my um, spinal stimulator controller and charger cords I know this is a fancy Thing. I really don't need to carry the chargers around, but I do need to have this with me. It's kind of a nuisance because it's kind of a bulky piece to carry. I'm just going to put that in the cargo pocket for now. 
Oh, there's an extra pen. We've got Bose earphones, screen wipe, two chargers, and a cable, a cord, whatever you call it. <laughs> I'm not having a good packing day. Everything's discombobulated. Oops, that's out. Okay, and a charger cord. So I've got a screen wipe, two batteries, earbuds, a cord, and a cable. So that actually works really well. And there's room for more, but I don't want to just jam them up. I kind of want things compartmentalized. I like it that way. And that goes right in there in the middle nicely. And then this one can go just in the side cargo pocket. I'm going to be out doing role player for the police tomorrow, so probably that will be a good time for me to need that. All right, so we've got a nail file, lotion, glucose tabs, medicines, lip gloss, dental floss, toothpicks, and that all fits perfectly in the peekaboo in the main section, and so that too can go right down the middle. So what is left? Mostly just keys and cards. So I have a lot of cards. Let's see what we got here. So we have lug cards, Aaron Condren cards, business cards, mine and my sister's. Yeah, okay. So a lot of lug cards, and they're not in any particular order, but let's, let's look at them, this is kind of fun. Live, laugh, lug with the navy background. Believe in yourself. It's your dragonfly multi. You've got stay strong in your wildlife black. Don't give up, butterfly gray. Hey, that one goes nicely with the purples. Make each day your masterpiece. That's like that new um, copper, what you call it, with the flowers. Wherever you go, may your guardian angel watch over you. It's a pretty floral. Choose happy with the buffalo check red. Oh, that's Aaron Condren. And then these are repeats of all those. Let's see if there's any different. No, these are all just repeats. So these come in like wallets and bags, and I've just been pulling them out and keeping them so I can give them to people as I'm just randomly walking through my daily life. Um, I think it's nice. It's a nice touch. It's something fun to do. I normally have them in a card thing. And looking in here, where I think I'm going to put them now, maybe, is just put them in this clear view section or in the clear view envelope in there. I'm not certain. The Erin Condren ones, they're similar concepts, just different pretty colorful things with different motivational sayings and stuff. Then I have my sister's Color Street cards, and I have two versions of business card, one with my address and one that's more social media stuff. And there you go. Lots of options, but that is a stack of cards. So I was carrying them in a zip ID. Hmm, 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 hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think rather than putting them in the peekaboo, which by the way, I want my strap for the peekaboo. Just grab and go option there. All right, so instead of all that, I'm going to put them in this front pocket. There's a padded section here. I have all these card slots, but let's see, wait, how many card slots do I have? Ooh, four card slots with four types of cards, basically. So put my sisters on the bottom. Will they fit? Yes, hey, card slots. I've got two kinds of mine. Those can go in the clear view. We've got Erin Condren. That can go in the second card slot. Hey, this works out perfectly. And then a big stack of lug ones in the top. So now they're all stacked in the card slots. Cards in the card slots. What a, what a concept. Genius. 
Okay, so that covers that. The wallet's nicely tucked away, sunglasses. Interior is very roomy, tons of space for more stuff. Um, I definitely don't need more stuff, but um, there we go. So the only thing left is keys. I have house keys, I have my vehicle key, mail keys, a medic alert thing. I'm just gonna hook those all on this carabiner. And my Vera Bradley shopping tag bag charm, love that thing. Um, I think I always get a lot of questions about where I got that. I got it when it came out with Vera Bradley. It's in denim. It is the only time I've ever seen it come out. It's not come out in any other feature styles or colors or patterns or any materials. It's just that one. But I have seen it pop up on the online outlet sales several times. I didn't check the most recent one, but um, yeah. So if you're gonna find it, you either have to find it maybe in a third party retailer or you might find it on the online outlet sale, just keep an eye open. So for anyone looking for them, that's where I got that. But it is, it is nice, I just move it from bag to bag. All right, now I'm gonna put these in this back pocket because I don't really need to get to them very often because I can code into the house without the key and the truck doesn't need the key to be in the ignition. So there we go. Okay. That is what's in my bag for the canter. Um, once again, you can carry it by the handles, you can put it over the crook of your arm, you can carry it by a backpack, or you can carry it like me, which is, I usually just throw it over my crossbody and carry it that way. And I got my hand sanitizer here. I may or may not change that. I might just put the sanitizer in that pocket, yeah. I don't like extra swingy on there. Just I'll put the sanitizer in the accessible pocket. Put the nuts in the back. And water, I won't need tomorrow. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that wasn't too much all about to follow. And uh, I hope you're not dizzy from all the purple. <laughs> Take care. See you soon.